this is a young girl in her early 20s with such a picture. She's got a central corneal opacity with a secondary hyaline degeneration, probably a dystrophy because it is bilateral. And she has got a intumescent mature cataract in both eyes. And uh, uh, added to that, she is a pathological myope. She needed just a three or a four diopter lens. And initially, I went ahead and did a superficial keratectomy for this opacity in order to enhance visualization of the intraocular structures. This is not going to be an easy case. Moreover, she is very young. And we are, in, although I think she needed a 5 diopter lens, we are going to be implanting a 6 diopter lens. And it would be a rigid eye hole. So I will be, although I will be performing a FACO, I will extend the incision and put a rigid PMMA 5.25 lens. Uh, the reason for that is mainly economic factors. So here I am very carefully dissecting with my crescent plate this opacity and uh, this defect will heal and usually I have done a lot of these cases and there is no need to do a corneal transplant for them. Most of the time you can get away without doing a corneal transplant. Just smoothening out the surface and there you can see hardly now you can make out the opacity then go with my 2.8 millimeter keratone put in two side ports and then obviously I would stain my uh, the anti capsule with tripan blue and expel that whole complex with 2% HPMC just putting some HPMC over the cornea and now you can make out actually how bad the opacity is but I can still see my cystitome and that's enough once you can see or make out where your flap is shouldn't be a problem the only uh, other factor here is, is it is a mature and it is intumescent. But I can't see any egress of any cortex, so I am not too worried. Just have to be a little careful. I can see the flap and then I go ahead and there you can see it at the periphery. I am able to do a pretty good 5.5. 5.75 mm rexus. Just completing the rexus with my uthrata forceps. There you have it. Make sure you bring out the entire flap. And now I am hydro dissecting the entire complex there. The idea is to try and prolapse it out into the anterior chamber. It's not, it's, it's not going to be easy to fake such a soft cataract, such a high pathological myope within the back. That would be a little risky. Just trying to get it out. I use my side ports as well and there you can see one pull is out. Once I have that it's going to be very easy. Just putting in some viscoelastic under that pull so that it doesn't go back into the bag and then go in with my 2.8 very low phaco power but very high vacuum. Start eating away the whole complex. That's done. Now I just have the epinucleus 
and I am trying to bring that out as well with my FACO uh, tip. I have a lot of anterior chamber to play with. Remember, she is a pathological myop, and most of it is out. And I bring in the lower epinucleus as well. Once the FACO is done, it's very easy. You can go with your bimanual. Just make sure you're equalizing the anterior and posterior chamber pressures so that you don't get a reverse pupillary block. Now this opacity is really showing up, but trust me, post up she will do very well. There's always the option of doing the corneal transplant if she is not happy. We can do it later and it's always better to first finish the FACO in a closed chamber and then later on do the cataract. Now as I told you earlier, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to be putting a 5.2 millimeter lens in this case. And I think this is a 6 diopter lens that I am putting in. She needs a 5 but and making sure I put the trailing haptic also into the back. The haptics are oriented well. The IOL is within the bag. And I just go ahead and remove the HPMC completely. And hydrate the wounds. You don't have to you do not need to suture most of the time these wounds, but you have to check if at all there is any doubt, go ahead and place one suture across the five 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 point two mm wound. Thank you for